Hi, my name is Bogdan. I'm the owner of DN Sharp. In this video, I'll show you how to get uh, started with the URL adapter, which is uh, our um, URL rewriter for .NET Nuke. On, on this test site, I've already installed the URL adapter and I created a page for it. And uh, here's how the module looks like. And uh, there are two uh, major parts on how URLs get rewritten with a URL adapter. There's, uh, there are the automatically rewritten URLs and there are the custom URLs. And um, the automatically rewritten URLs are already applied after you install the module. So after installation, the URL provider is already configured. And if I go, for example, on the About Us page, you can see that the URL says about-us in, um, in, uh, in lowercase. And um, I can configure that. I can go straight into the uh, adapter console. And here I can click change. And you'll see all the settings that were used into building this URL. And uh, notice that there are some separators, how to replace the space. And then I can choose uh, either to use the extension or extensionless version. So maybe I choose without the extension. And now, for example, when I click URLs, for example, let's take about us, you see that it no longer depends the extension. But uh, the extension version is still available. So the page can be accessed with or without extension. And if I only want to have one version of this, I can use this uh, settings that is called enforce extension. So I can set yes, permanently redirect uh, request coming without extension uh, with extension to the extension this version of the URL so I will just show you that I saved it I open about us now if I click that ASPX I'm taking I'm taking uh, uh, the extensions version and I will show you that this is a permanent redirect um, just look at the top the first request made to the ASPX received the 301 status code which basically means permanent moved permanently and it was moved to this new URL without extension um, same can be applied for the provider so like I said after installation uh, the URL adapter already set uh, set itself as the default provider but you can change that you can uh, use dot uh, still and uh, uh, still uh, have both versions for example I can take out the enforce and now I will have both version but the default will be the totemic version <coughs> so now for example if I click the about us notice that I'm taking to the totemic version of the URL which is without dashes the lowercase still applies and the other settings such as um, extension either to open or not the extension um, <coughs> I'll switch back to the URL provider and I can make this a permanent redirect. So now if I go, for example, if I try to open the page like uh, the, the new provider uh, has the URL, I will get redirected again permanently to the uh, URL adapter version of the URL. And that's about, uh, about the... Um, about building these automatically automatic URLs. And then if you're not satisfied with them or you want to have multiple version or sometimes you want to have a custom version, you can create your own custom URLs. Let's see how this works. I will go to the about page and I can see here there are already two URLs generated by the two providers, by the CO URL adapter and the DNN friendly URL provider. And here the default will reflect uh, whatever default I set here, which is the CO URL. The default basically means that when uh, Donanuk generates pages, it will generate it with this URL. But this URL will also be an alternative to this URL. Unless, of course, the permanent redirect is here, which uh, be, uh, automatically redirects this URL to this one. And now I can create custom URLs. For example, I want to say about us. I would want to create a welcome page that is also the about us page and I will say um, who we are who we are for example and all of this 
notice that are not in effect until I save them and I can actually uh, navigate between uh, various pages and make more changes and they will all stack down here so you see I have two pages and now if I go to the home and I say home again I see here and I can switch between them I can click them and you see it uh, it loads them and I haven't lost my settings, they, they are all here. And I can also navigate, for example, the sub pages and make, make more uh, modification. And again, you see this here and I can switch between them. And they will not be saved until I actually click save and only now they are saved and I will return back to my test, which is the about us page. And now notice there's a link here to open a new window and you can test your URLs like this. So notice the welcome URL that I created and the who we are URL that I created. But when I click the about us page, it still uses the about us um, version. That is because here you see this is the default, but I can change that by making a primary URL. So for example, I make who we are, I'll make it the primary one. So now if I refresh the page, when I click the about us i'm taking to who we are page i can still access the site under various urls such as about us and again now i can go back to the url data and um, make it a permanent redirect so now all versions of this page all versions of the urls attached to this page will point to this one so for example if i open welcome i'm redirected to who we are if i open about us I'm redirected to who we are. And th these are the two major ways to how to redirect URLs, but there are also a few other features such as um, uh, defining how the special pages work. For example, the home page, you have uh, like uh, three versions of it. So you can access the home page, you can access it like this, and then you can access it like this with default ASPX, or, or you can even access it like this. So you have three versions for accessing the home page. And I can uh, go into, into URL data and say, I prefer which page? I prefer the, this page. And I want to make it, a, again, a permanent area. So all the other versions will point to this page. So I'm saving this. And now when I go to the uh, root, I'm staying on the root because this is my uh, preferred version. But when I go to home, I'm also redirected to to the root or when I go default that I, that a speaks I'm also taken again to the root <coughs> and another setting is the ability to create a custom URLs for users so for example I, I will have slash user slash username to be the user page but let me show you first what uh, is the user page without the settings so I, if I click my name in the menu I'm taken to this activity feed and then there's a question mark and user ID equal one. And I don't like that. And I will change it. I can also uh, uh, either change it so the username is in the root or put it under a uh, user su sub path. This is safer because uh, uh, username are not likely to collide with page names. Okay, and uh, I can make this also a permanent redirect so user coming to the activity feed page will be redirected to this url and let me show you how it will look now so it will look like this users slash host because this is my username and now i can navigate for example i can go out see my friends and it's user slash host slash friends i can go see my messages and again it's slash messages and uh, this way is um, it's much uh, much better for CEO and also for uh, for uh, users because they already have a, a clear picture who are they looking at. Um, that's about it. There are actually a few more features that are hidden be be behind the settings, and you I let you explore them. Uh, we have tons of more features coming, and also we'd uh, really appreciate having your uh, feedback, your feature requests, and suggestions. Uh, thank you very much for your time and I hope this helps.